What's going on guys, this is Jake. It's been a very long time since I've done a lesson, but I've gotten some requests to do a song from STP. The song is Seven Cage Tigers off of uh, Tiny Music from 1996. Um, so we're gonna do um, what I always used to do, was do a quick tune up so anybody can tune to me, and uh, just kind of a quick playthrough, and then we do a breakdown of the chords. So starting with the tuning, it's gonna be an E, A, D, G, B, E, standard tuning. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and play through, and uh, you might hear a little bass added to the track, and then we'll play that and um, break the chords down afterwards. Here we go. Okay guys, that was the uh, little playthrough. So we're gonna start with the first couple of chords in the verse. Um, so very easy to play chords here, but um, start, starting with the very first one is a G major. And that is in the first position, just a G major bar chord. Second chord is a, a B minor in the first position as well. Second chord is an E major in the first position. Now when I say in the first position, I just mean um, it's the first position you would play on the lower end of the neck. Uh, the next chord is a D5. It's a pretty cool chord. D5 is very similar to a D major. Just don't play that high F sharp note, and you and you put the uh, the low A string here. Put that in the bass. So it's really like a D5 uh, first inversion. It has that A in the bass, and then you have the D. Um, you have the A as well, and then the D again. Next chord is a um, pretty interesting chord. 
It's called an A minor with a C in the bass. Next chord is a uh, B7 without a fifth. And it's kind of a hard chord for me to play with just having short fingers, um, especially this, this uh, note right here. Might be a little easier for some of you, but and it might take a little bit to get used to. But there's really no other way to play that because unfortunately, the high string above starts on an E and that's an E flat right here, or this is D sharp rather. When you're playing that B7 with no fifth, you're going to alternate between that and this chord here. And so what you're doing is you're playing that fourth note on the B string. And then uh, you sort of play the high E, you let that, that um, D sharp kind of ring out a little bit as you hit the high E, and then you play the chord uh, together with the second fret on the high E string, that's an F sharp. So it should sound like this. Uh, the next chord is an E minor. And the chord after this is going to be a B minor with the D in the bass. Now this is very similar to the one we just played a minute ago, except you move it over two frets. And you play a C uh, major 7, this is a really common way to play it. I think this might even be the first position for C major 7. This next little chord is just barely played um, right before going into the, the uh, first chord of the um, verse. And it's kind of like, uh, I'll, I'll sort of play it in real time. It's That's called a G with a B in the bass. And that is a second fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D string, and fourth fret on the G string. That's really it. You're just playing those three notes. And you start uh, you start on the, the original riff again, the first chord of G major. So to play it in real time again, slowly, this is what it would all sound like. So the next um, part of the song is going to be a um, the chorus. It's going to be the chorus, and it's um, starting on a very unusual chord. This is called a D sharp with an A uh, sharp in the bass. It's a very unusual way to play it, and for anybody who's a fan of STP, uh, you'd see this chord uh, come up again in uh, Sour Girl. Which is just played a half step um, below this one for seven cage tigers. Uh, but it's going to be the um, sixth fret on the low E string, fifth fret on the D string, open G, fourth fret on the B, and sixth fret on the high E. Now I'm using my ring finger here to sort of mute that A string. So as I'm fretting the uh, sixth fret, I'm also muting that A string. All right, the next chord is an A sharp major seven. I'm sorry, A sharp major ninth. You can just keep your ring finger 
on the sixth fret as it was before and kind of move your other fingers. You can see I, I'm using my middle finger here to bar the fifth fret just entirely. And then my pinky playing the sixth fret on the B. And that's how it sounds together. Then the last chord of the chorus is just, um, it's a B minor with an added second. So really what it is is you just play this um, D, uh, this A sharp major ninth, and you just slide it over a half step. Now for this chord, you're only going to play the top five strings, meaning you're not playing that high E string. So going to the solo, it's going to be pretty much similar to the verse, and we'll, we'll play through it. It's got the G major, the B minor, E major, and then now um, the tail end of it is a little different. It goes from an A major to F sharp major, bar chord, first position, to a B minor, and this is called an E sus4. Sustained fourth with a C in the bass. This is the C right here in the bass. It's the, uh, let's see, what is that? The eighth fret of the low E string. And then you're doing the seventh fret on the A string, D string, ninth fret on the, the G string, and the B and E are open. Then you go back to the G major. E minor. Major, F sharp major, it's B minor, G major, G minor, E5, first inversion. Now that little part is um, just kind of a hammer-on pull-off. And you're on the D5 chord. So that's from the second fret on the, the uh, G string to the fourth fret on the G string. You're doing a pull-off from the fourth to the second to the open, um, open string on the D. Now you're doing a, a hammer-on pull-off or rather a pull-off twice. It's from the second fret to the open string. Now you're playing the second fret on the A string to the open D. And then slide over from the second fret on the D string to the fourth fret. And then very shortly after you hit the third fret on the B string. So very slowly. Then you go back into the um, chorus. ends on the, um, the B minor add, add second. And then uh, that's pretty much it, guys. The outro is a G major to a B7, a B minor 7 to an E major. That's it. It's pretty much the song. So um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on the channel. If you like this video and you want to see more uh, lessons, please give me the thumbs up and let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.